Hey everyone and welcome back to Gotta Go Orlando where we explore and recommend Orlando's best activities for every month on our YouTube channel and website. So don't forget to smash that subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos just like this one. Fellow Orlando thrill seekers, it's time for our May Entertainment Guide and inside it you will find a multitude of exciting events and activities in this city beautiful. Today we'll be talking about our top things to do in Orlando this May. So whether you're a local or heading out on your vacation, there's something for everyone from theme parks to food, festivals and amazing shows. We've got the best of Orlando experiences right here. So grab your calendars and let's get started. So let's start off with the events which are reoccurring from last month. We're starting off with Walt Disney World's 2023 Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival which is happening right now and all the way to July the 5th. The popular and fragrant 2023 Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival features fresh cuisine, colourful gardens, playful toperies and vibrant entertainment. The popular Garden Rock Concert Series is back, featuring our favourite tunes from the American Garden Theatre. And of course the outdoor kitchens and other food and beverage locations are back throughout the park, brimming with fresh flavours. Now moving on to SeaWorld, the 2023 SeaWorld Orlando Seven Seas Food Festival is on now and all the way through to May the 7th. Oceans of flavour and fun awaits you at SeaWorld. From foodies to families, everyone will find tasty delights among more than 200 distinct offerings. Explore more than 50 fresh global cuisines to pair with over 75 refreshing wines and cocktails, including more than 75 craft brews. With so many stunning flavours, exhilarating coasters and animal encounters, the Seven Seas food festival is a voyage for your belly. For all you young adventurers out there, Dinosaurs at Liu Gardens, now until July the 9th. Dinosaurs are back! This amazing outdoor exhibit of prehistoric creatures are inhabiting Liu Gardens. Explore nearly 50 acres of gardens to discover some of the most feared creatures on the planet. Featuring over 20 life-size dinosaurs ranging from 14 inches all the way up to a massive 33 feet. This awesome dinosaur exhibit is included in your daytime garden admission. Now moving over to Gaylord Palms Resort for Once Upon a Spring Celebration, which is on till May the 14th. This year's event features beautiful springtime flowers, activities in the new Adventure Kids Clubhouse, Pirate Escape Room, themed scavenger hunt and so much more. Now let's head on over to Bush Gardens Tampa Bay for Food and Wine Festival which ends May the 21st. A world awaits the annual Bush Gardens Tampa Bay Food and Wine Festival with delicious menus and drinks as dynamic and unique as the park's thrilling coaster lineup. Sip and savour your way through flavourful eats mouth-watering treats before finding your favourite brews and cocktails. This festival is included in your theme park admission. Lake Nona Art After Dark Every Friday through May Lake Nona Town Centre from 6pm Enjoy a stroll through the town centre as you explore handcrafted artisan products and tasty cuisine Grab a glass of wine and stay a while to enjoy the art displayed on the 6 storey art installation The Beacon Saturday night, classic car show and cruise at Old Town Kissimmee. Join Old Town Kissimmee every Saturday night and take a trip down memory lane. Orlando Classic Car Show has been one of the local traditions for over 30 years. It's one of the premier weekly car shows in Central Florida. The show begins at 1pm and welcomes show quality 1985 and older hot rods. Cars will begin to cruise at 8.30pm. All registered cars can participate. It's free for you to attend and myself and Emma totally recommend this amazing night out. 
Something Rotten at the Garden Theatre. Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, until May the 21st. Brothers Nick and Nigel Bottom are writing their way through the Renaissance, but are stuck in the shadow of the famed playwright William Shakespeare. Sick and tired of failure, Nick visits a less than reputable soothsayer who predicts that musicals will be the next big thing in theatre. The brothers scramble to write the world's first musical whilst fighting the social norms, family struggles and the bard himself. The Promenade at Sunset Walk, Showcar Saturday Night, every Saturday in May. Promenade at Sunset Walk is home to Showcar Saturday Night. All makes and models are welcome and displayed along Margaritaville Boulevard. Enjoy music from DJ Scotty Beale whilst admiring an amazing collection of classic to modern automobiles. Live bands performing on the Promenade Plaza stage nightly and find your favourite restaurants and shops on the Promenade at Sunset Walk. Now we're moving on to the Orlando area farmer markets every Saturday in May. The Winter Garden Farmers Market open from 8am till 1pm in the beautiful historic Winter Garden. The Winter Park Farmers Market, one of the best produce markets and plant markets in Central Florida, starts at 8am and finishes at 1pm in Central Park. The Lake Mary Farmers Market features local vendors of produce, plants, baked goods and arts and crafts. Starts at 9am and finishes at 1.30pm. City of Longwood Farmers Market at Rita Park from 9am till 2pm with locally sourced seafood and produce and handmade crafts. Lake Nona's Farmers Market takes place in the beautiful town centre from 11am till 3pm. Ren Fair at the Renaissance Theatre Company. This is located indoors and outdoors. Perfect for the unpredictable Orlando weather. Now we're going on to the Farmers Market every Sunday. Lake Eola Farmer Market takes place in the heart of Orlando Lake Eola Park from 10am till 4pm. Celebration Farmers Market. There are multiple vendors here selling everything from fresh food and produce to local crafted jewellery and much more. With the beautiful backdrop of Lakeside Park, this is a must from 9am till 2pm. East Orlando Farmers Market offers hand selected produce every Sunday from 11am till 4pm. Claremont Farmers Market features over 60 vendors selling seafood, organic products and other household items from 9am till 2pm. Mount Dora's Open Air Village Market offering fresh products from over 50 market vendors from 9am till 2pm. Now that we've done the farmers markets let's have a look at the special events for May. I'll do these in date order for you so it makes it easier for you to pop them in your calendar. May the 1st Caliucci's Red Moon in Venus Tour with special guest Ray. This live event is from 8pm till 10pm. Balcony table seating is 79.50. Lower balcony seating is 69.50. Upper balcony seating is 59.50. And GA main floor standing is 49.50. May the 3rd. Candlelight, a tribute to Coldplay at the Abbey. Candlelight concerts bring the magic of live, multi-sensory, musical experience to an awe-inspiring location like never seen before in Orlando. May 4th, New Jack City Live at Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts, Walt Disney Theatre, starting at 7.30 p.m. May 5th, a candlelight tribute to Taylor Swift at the Abbey. Discover the music of Taylor Swift at the Abbey under the gentle glow of candlelight. Also on the 5th, Movie night at Harry P. Liu Gardens. Enjoy an outdoor movie in Orlando's most beautiful garden. Pack yourself a picnic and head down to watch Black Panther, the PG-13 rated movie. Children under the age of 13 require an accompany parent or adult, weather permitting. The next events are on May 5th and May 6th. Tesla comes to the House of Blues Orlando at Disney Springs. A popcorn at the beautiful Camp Wewa, a 
pop culture, sci-fi, comic book and toy collectors festival. The next events are just May 6th. College Park Spring Fest will take over Edgewater Drive on Saturday with an Anything Goes 90s party. Kiddies Carnival of Orlando at Trotters Park. This is a unique festival of cultures demonstrated through food, music and storytelling, historical information, interactive hands-on activities, dance, poetry and much more. Make them smile at Lake Eola Park. Biggest party celebrating kids with all different types of disabilities, our VIPs of all ages. Family entertainment, games, characters, animals, food, helpful resources and so much more. May 7th, the Gypsy Kings featuring Torino Baleado at the Hard Rock Live, Orlando. May 9th, through to the 14th, My Fair Lady at the Dr. Phillips Centre for the Performing Arts, Walt Disney Theatre. May the 10th, Tom Jones, Ages and Stages Tour at the Hard Rock Live, Universal City Walk. May 12th and 15th, Disney on Ice presents Frozen and Enchanto at the Amway Center. Step inside the magical adventure of Disney's Frozen and Enchanto as they are brought to life like never before on Disney on Ice. May 13th, Bizarre World at Central Florida Showgrounds. Delve right into the unknown of our bizarre world. Join us for a celebration that's all weird, odd, strange, mysterious, or just plain wicked with shows, cosplay, and marketplace vendors. Also on the 13th, Lulu Santos at the House of Blues, Orlando. May 16th through to May 29th, the 32nd annual Orlando International Fringe Theatre Festival, celebrating 30 years of Orlando's most unique cultural experience. May the 17th, Rainbow Kitten Surprise with Candy Carpenter at the Hard Rock Live. Tuvlo Dirt Fem Tour with special guest Slater at the House of Blues, Disney Springs. May the 18th through to the 21st, welcome to Rockville at Daytona International Speedway. May 19th to the 20th, Guy Harvey Weekend at SeaWorld Orlando. May 19th to the 21st, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, live at the Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts. At the Alexis and Jim Poo Theatre, 19 to the 21st, Spooky Empire at the Double Tree by Hilton at the entrance to Universal. May the 19th, the Psychedelic Furs at the Hard Rock Live Orlando. May the 20th, the Hunchback of Notre Dame in concert at the Dr. Phillips Center at the Stan Metz Hall. 22nd of May, the Backseat Lovers waiting to spill world tour at the House of Blues. May 25th, Jazz at the Lincoln Center Orchestra with Wynton Marcellus at the Dr. Phillips Center for Performing Arts in the Stymes Hall. Also on the 25th, Stevie Nicks at the Amway Center. 28th of May, Orlando Carnival Downtown at Lake Lorna Dune Park. And there you have it, 40 plus things to do in Orlando this May. With so much to see and do, and experience there's no shortage of excitement for both locals and if you're on vacation don't forget to smash that subscribe and hit that notification bell for all our up and coming videos also check out our website gottagoorlando.com because there's even more events on the article down below in the description thank you so much for joining us today and all i can really say now is tiktok gotta go gotta go Orlando guys bye and don't forget about these two videos right here